So hello everyone today basically I'm going to explain about that multi data source with different types of databases actually in my last tutorial I've already explained that how you're going to configure this uh, multiple data source in a Spring Boot application but someone like raising one thing that uh, they are trying to configure like two different databases instead of a same database with different schema like in my last live explained with mysql database with a different schema like db1 and the db2 but uh, then someone raising things that like they are trying to do this one but not able to configure two different databases like mysql and the postgres so in this tutorial i'm going to talk about that how we are going to uh, connect with different database instead of different uh, schema so here i have already like uh, there is a two configurations one is the database one another one is the database two so here i am going to configure another database which is basically the postgresql and uh, like uh, that i am going to configure today over here okay so i have already like configured my locally for that basically you need to install the like my uh, postgre into your local okay and then uh, over here i just need to define this third data source url this is the postgresql and this is the db3 okay db1 db2 and the db3 this is the username for me and this is the password okay so once you have defining uh, this is basically you need to define and before that the prerequisite thing is that you need to install postgresql into your local system so that like uh, you can access those things okay and you need to like set the username whatever username you are going to set over there and password so that you need to mention over here so this is the like configuration that you need to mention over here and also like we need to provide the driver and the dialect like what will be the dialect for example okay even also like driver so for like this uh, uh, like as we have using the mysql so for mysql the driver class name was this mysql cj jdbc driver for postgre basically it will be a like different like as you can see over here it's a like uh, org dot postgre dot sql uh, postgre sql dot driver okay so this is the different other than this mysql driver and also we are using this uh, postgre sql dialect over here this is the postgre sql dialect okay so this is the like uh, this properties file kind of things you guys can also use the like yml file the configuration will be same only the structure will be different but the things will be same okay and postgresql default run in this 5432 port as mysql run on the double three zero six okay so next basically uh, like uh, i need to configure that uh, configurations uh, like in the programmatic we need to configure those things okay so let's uh, create another package let me create a package for this one this uh, data source 2 basically we have over here so new package we need to create for data source 3 okay uh, the configurations will be same only the little portions will be different so let me copy this one existing class and over here we will just change those things okay so let me rename this class first uh, like uh, this will be the class name will be data source uh, 3 okay and here the like uh, we can create this repository new repository for this one db3 and instead of this second it will be a uh, like uh, we can mention just to simplicity third okay and this we are going to maintain everywhere instead of second it will be a third one okay and this is the second data source instead of that we can mention it as a third one this is also a third and then this is also a third okay the configuration wise also we need to mention the same thing like configuration then transaction management then we need to enable this jpa repositories with this bin and this, this is the package okay and over here we need to like uh, uh, as we have defining this with this third dot uh, data source dot url so we need to update this uh, second with third because uh, the postgresql properties name start with this third right so this is uh, like we need to mention over here and here also we need to model we will keep under this uh, db3 okay 
and here also we need to modify this dialect and uh, because here the for postgresql we are having the different dialect like org hibernate dialect uh, instead of mysql dialect it will be a postgresql dialect okay so rest will be same only this portion will be modify so that means data source uh, three configuration is ready now i will put this updated code in the existing git source and also share the updated link in the description section so that you guys can access those things okay so now let me create that uh, like package for uh, for this uh, repository okay so here uh, we can create one repository for let me like we, we can create one uh, uh, table under in the postgresql let me create this package first like this db3 okay and here uh, we can't use another repository let's say we are going to uh, like maybe create the order table so if we create this order table so order repository we are going to create over here okay so order repo we need to create under this db3 okay so this particular order repo will take this uh, like uh, uh, this order table basically we need to create so here we can create another model for this uh, db3 so here instead of this two we are going to create another package will basically consist of this uh, model for this one db3 so let me create this package and uh, this is the like entity order underscore details this table will be created in a postgresql database and we are keeping this id name and the price okay so this is the table and this is the repo okay next we are going to create one service basically which will basically save the order details as we did for other services like user service and uh, uh, like product services so here we are going to create another service that is order service which will basically save the order and in a controller we are going to create the order controller so that like uh, uh, we can't uh, save the data from this controller right so here you can see the api and the save order here the order is the request uh, will taking in this way and after taking the input from over there based on this like uh, we need to just call the service from over here and then we need to save the order okay so these things is ready now like uh, project wise next what we will do we will just uh, we need to run this application so once we will run it will create the like uh, uh, entities in the postgresql so i will also save the postgre database after uh, once it will start and then like we will do uh, call this particular api from postman so that we will insert some record into the order newly created this order table okay so here it will take some time because it will configure this here three databases okay what it is saying that postgresql driver is not available okay so as we are like using this postgresql over here so we need to mention this uh, into our pom xml file right because else how it will be understood so we need to add these dependencies postgre driver into the pom file over here so mysql already added over here and here we are going to add this postgre sql so it will take some time then it will basically okay so next uh, we will start this application again now we have added this postgresql if we check the class path for this one then we, kiss, we can see that uh, postgresql already like in, used over here like postgre 42.7.3 okay next uh, we'll see that it will it once it will start then we will see the postgre uh, database that table got created or not so it will take some time and you can see that it's been the create table order details so this is got created right so now if we see the postgresql over here so this is the postgresql so db3 we have created over here okay and now if we want to refresh this one so you can see that uh, here is schema then table the order tables got created over here okay and currently it doesn't have any record over here okay if we this okay so it doesn't have any record over here currently now using the like postman we can't like uh, see that uh, we are able to successfully import data over or not 
so this is the postman so this is the api that api dot save order the id name and the price so if we send this one so it should uh, save the data into the database right so you can see that insertion is printed over here and now if we uh, select the record for over here for this order details you can see that order details inserted over here okay hope it's clear like now we have uh, like uh, inserted uh, three like uh, configured three data means uh, two same schema for table like in for the mysql we have configured two schemas db1 db2 and also we have configured the postgresql into this over here in a single application so here in the single application we have configured the multiple data source which will doing their work right so in this way basically we can configure multiple data source uh, that how we are going to configure multiple data source in a single application so this is the way if you guys still have any things please do let me know i'll try to figure means uh, solve those things and don't forget to subscribe my channel please press the bell icon for further notifications thanks for your time see you in my next videos bye bye